Here at Flint's Beach, we're in the process of replacing the existing retaining wall with the new seawall structure. Uh, part of the works is also the inclusion of a new uh, accessibility ramp uh, that will provide um, more, more accessibility and amenity around the foreshore here. So far to date, our contractor has been able to do their um, excavations, uh, which has allowed them to uh, install the, the piling, which will be the foundation of the new structure. Um, they're currently in the, the process of installing the, the new uh, base and uh, walls that will be the, the new structure, um, and then we'll look to continue with the, the new uh, ramp and footpaths that, that run behind the new wall. So the structure behind me that's been constructed uh, encompasses over 50 uh, piles, concrete piles that go into the sand um, itself and that will support the, the new structure behind me. Um, all of the works, the, the foundation slab, will actually be covered by the sand so you won't actually see um, a lot of the work that goes underneath the grounds um, but we'll see the beautiful new, new finished wall. So some of the benefits of this project uh, involve the improved access onto to Flynn's Beach. There'll be a broader amenity improvement, uh, more pathways, uh, uh, an improved shower area. Um, and this is really just the first stage of upgrades um, that we're, we're trying to deliver here at Flynn's Beach um, in accordance with a, a wider master plan of the area. So works are currently uh, on track and scheduled to be complete by November at this stage, so just in time for the, the school holidays and, and the peak summer period. But Flynn's Beach is still very much open for business and we're encouraging the community um, and all visitors to continue to use the site and to support the local businesses here, the surf club, um, the surf schools and the, the local cafe. Uh, we're always thinking about the end result of the project. Um, obviously it's a bit of a hassle at the moment uh, in regards to where it is and uh, how it's going to affect the business. But um, looking into the future and that, that six month project that it's going to be and the final result should uh, make a massive difference on not only Flint's Beach but the business itself as well. From both um, the, the company that's managing this project as well as the council as well, they are quite informative. They're with us uh, uh, at least once or twice a week having a discussion in regards to where they're at and what they're doing and uh, moving forward what's going to happen and uh, we sort of are able to adjust um, adjust what we're doing here around that. We definitely focus on making sure that we've always got a seasonal menu, um, changing our menu every two to three months. Um, our focus is on making sure that we're purchasing locally um, as well as sourcing fresh local ingredients to make sure that we're able to deliver the best product to our guests. Um, that's not just on our food as well, so that's including like our coffee and some of the, our pastry products and uh, definitely some of the other items that we're selling here. Um, we're sourcing them from uh, some of the more boutique suppliers in the area. Um, but uh, certain things that uh, make a massive difference is you know, making things from scratch uh, rather than purchasing products that are already pre-made, um, including like our beef patties for example, we grind our own meat and uh, we make everything from scratch and make it all as fresh as possible for the customer. We continue to support us, um, but uh, make sure we're still, still coming down in the sandbox and still enjoying the beach in the local area. Um, by helping support us as a business, we're also supporting all our staff as well. Um, winter's hard enough as it is, uh, so being able to pack out the deck every day of the week is really important for us to, to make sure that uh, we're still turning over and we're, we're still going to be able to enjoy what's going to be here at the end of that six month project.